Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video, and today I'm doing yet another mod showcase, but this time around I'm doing it on the three most recent, three of the most recent maps that I found on the Steam Workshop, and the three maps that I saw that were most recent uh, that seemed like fairly interesting. Uh, Jake's House 2.0, we got Nuke Town, which Nuke 3 Town, however you want to say that, and Outbreak Reimagined. So I thought that that would kind of be interesting to do after, you know, the Advanced Warfare video. So we're going to start out with... Uh, Outbreak Reimagined, and we're going to make our way through. We're just going to try to make our way to round 10 on each map um, for a total of 30 rounds, and we'll try to explore the whole map and just see how it goes. Um, I read the descriptions for some of these. All of the maps will be in the description below if you guys want to try that maps out for yourselves. Um, so, as I said, I did read some of the descriptions. This one, I believe, has exosuits, I think. Uh, but they said this map is still kind of like a semi-work in progress, so it's not necessarily a fully completed thing here but we'll see how it goes for the black ops 3 engine um captain Trixie, <laughs> what the hell all right so they got juggernaut right here so we're playing as richtofen that's actually kind of funny here uh what's this right here what's this oh part okay Now, these right here um, didn't have any reviews, I don't believe. I, I don't think I saw really any reviews for these zombie maps. I just kind of uh, saw they were most recent, and uh, there was people in the comment section that actually had, um, you know, left what they think of the map and everything like that. So, so far, this map seems fairly interesting. I think uh, my frames keep dropping, but of course, that could be my, my own. Uh, my own console, not really PC, whatever. <laughs> but, um, so far it seems kind of interesting. It does seem like a one-to-one, -one, um, not, okay, not exactly a one-to-one -one from, you know, Outbreak from Advanced Warfare, but I saw that there were some new-ish things, like this right here is kind of new-ish. I don't remember it being, I remember the bus kind of being... Uh, more over here to this area right here. So I believe this was this was blocked off in the original map uh, if I remember correctly, so But anyways the Jake's house 2.0 is actually made by ice grenade one of the uh, probably uh, biggest uh, community create uh, yeah, uh, Custom zombie community creator that we that I've you know, we have um, So that one definitely I'm looking forward to that one. I think I'm definitely gonna play that one last though. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting. They've definitely kind of... It definitely is, you know, Outbreak from Advanced Warfare, but they have changed it up just a little bit here. I can see that. But AMR9, there's Widow's Wine. I like the I like the add-on to the actual, you know, perks from Black Ops 3. That definitely helps out so much better. But... You never would have guessed that this would would be so, uh, like actually decently playable in the Black Ops 3 engine, funnily enough. As funny as that sounds. How much was this door? Twelve fifty. How much was this gun right here? This gun was only 500 points. That's actually insane. I'm pretty sure this is the burst, though. But Is it? Oh, yeah, it's a 5 burst. That's weird. I've never really seen a 5 burst before. Um... So yeah, we'll go this way first, so then we can see, because I think that's the, that looks like the 3D printer right there. So we'll take that, and then we'll make our way over into uh, the area where the exosuits is said to be at. Hopefully, I wonder how, I wonder if the exosuits will be part of the buggy problem. As I said, he left in the in the description of the map that there was some bug issues. Uh, and if there is any, to let them, uh, you know, to comment on it, let them know about it. So, so far, this thing's pretty cool. I like the... I like the color scheme. I, I really do. Like, there's so many maps that they have just awesome color schemes for. Like, uh, for instance, it, this is uh, after my GTA Online Garage video, the second one, anyways. That one had some awesome color schemes. I really, I really like that one. That one just stays implemented in my mind. Um, but yeah, I like the implementation of uh, the Black Ops Three stuff for Advanced Warfare. Like, honestly. If this map was, in fact, in Black Ops 3, I think uh, it would definitely be a lot better. Oh my gosh, it's 950. Did I just get the MP40? 
Oh my god, I got the MP40. Ooh, I like the sights. The white. That looks cool as fuck. Oh my god. I really like the sights on that. That's awesome. Let's see what we got. Oh, the AK-47. Wow, I think I'll be trying to save up for that here soon. Yeah, this is uh, definitely kind of interesting. I'm assuming this is where like you use the exosuits and stuff. But I like how that there are more places to implement the exosuits. Because, you know, the exosuit definitely, in the first map anyways, didn't really have much usage as, as funnily enough. There's only like two main areas where you can use the exosuits. Uh, oh my god, don't, don't, don't you hit me. Jesus Christ, I pff, fuck it. just had that feeling that I was going to get hit there a second time. Alright, so over here, there was more than one. I don't really have any gobble gums. The only mod I have right now is the uh, the final statement mod. I have this one, but that's the only mod. I only use that in case, like, um, uh, mostly I use it if, like, the map is completed or something, and um, I want to see something else. Okay, so the extra room is that way. Oh, that's right. Jug is on the other side. I'm sitting there looking for the actual exo machines. As stupid as that sounds, but I'm also looking for power. You need a fuse to power the building. Okay. So I'm guessing that's just temporary power. What I'm, what I'm getting here. Stamina up. Open door. 1500. Okay, we'll go to that room next here. What's that? Oh, max ammo. Cool. I didn't look at it and see... I didn't pay attention to my ammo and see if it was uh, uh, BF4 and Cold War's max ammo or if it was... Oh! Okay. Exo testing. It's got the SN6 right there. Oh, you can't go that way. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Alright, this actually seems fairly interesting. Let's rebuild barrier. Alright, power turned on. Uh, there's no part list though, unfortunately. That part kinda that that part kinda sucks, but Way down here. Okay, that's a door. What is double tap? I'm gonna go ahead and get it. Alright, that's a door. Alright, so we are going to go. I think we'll go through the bottom here. Honestly, it's not an exact replica of of the Oh alright. Awesome. Cool. Did I turn the power on here? I did. It's not an exact replica of the map, but it definitely it definitely works, honestly. I think it definitely has potential here to be, f like, um, a fairly decent map for Black Ops 3 Engine, honestly. But if there was a, a map from Advanced Warfare that I would like to be Black Ops 3, it would be this map, funnily enough. Okay. Well, that zombie was already right there. Good lord. Oh, there's a fuse right there. Speed Cola. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, okay. So this is... Alright, so this is that... Uh, uh, that one room that we were in before. Yeah, not an exact replica, but they definitely took uh, some of the main parts of the map away and made it this. So luckily, I'm just coming off of HPRE 3. Yeah, definitely a cool map. This is definitely a a nice map. I think it's really, really awesome. I haven't really seen, um, seen many glitches either. So this is a good thing. I haven't really seen many bugs. Uh, but then again, we are kind of still kind of early in the in the map, so maybe maybe there's some to be discovered. But I just haven't seen it yet. We'll find out. I'm glad I got the MP40. That's actually really cool. I like the sights. I like the white sights on it. It looks awesome. Oh, good lord! Where'd you come from? You come out of nowhere. Okay, so you can't. Did it mess me up if I was like trying to? Hmm. 
So you can only jump up with it. You can't really jump like side to side or anything with the exosuit. Yeah, you, it's not really a side to side kind of uh, suit. I don't think here. It doesn't seem like. It doesn't seem that way. Kind of seems like more of a uh, up and down only, which is fine. I mean, there's definitely nothing wrong with it. Oh good lord! I was worried I was gonna get screwed there. Pretty sure the power switch for Jug is on that side, but I do got to get the um, the fuse back to that other side. So we're gonna open this up. Let's see what we got down here. So this is the other side of the map. So this goes into here. So this should go. Oh, good lord! Woo! It's close. Okay, so that goes into here. This would be the best map ever if they don't do the infection rounds. <laughs> I, that's, what, that's what definitely ruined it for me for uh, the regular map, like, was the infection rounds. Okay, this is broken, so maybe they get to get rid of it. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping they did. It's a very expensive door. Oh, my lord. Yeah, hopefully they got rid of it. I'm hoping they did. The infection rounds. I don't want to see those ever again. <laughs> I don't want to see those ever, ever again. Oh, good God. I say, don't let me be red for 20 years. And but I like this area being a lot bigger because that way it's like easier to have a place to run around in. So definitely good on that part. Oh, good. It is. It is the full ammo. Awesome. I always wondered that, like, even growing up, like, as a kid and stuff, like, why they never had, um, max ammo fill, like, your entire clip? Why'd you have to reload before you get it, you know? We jug. The fuck? So they're like, no, you're not getting Juggernaut today. No, thank you. Alright, let's keep going. Let's see what we got. Uh, that's right. We need to go turn on the power in the building. I need to remember that I have an exosuit <laughs> that I could jump up and everything now. So this room doesn't seem familiar from the actual thing. The black box is the key. Don't know what that means. I'm not looking forward to doing like quests or anything. Yeah, quests is what I'm not looking forward to. I'm not or not not looking to do it at all. So is this it? Is that all that... Is that all that this leads to here? You just go up here? I'm assuming. I'll buy the AK. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. What's the with the white sights? I like them though. I really do. I think the white sights are actually really, really cool looking on the guns. It's actually kind of awesome. Like, I was actually thinking to myself too. Like, do they have any kind of, you know, advanced warfare maps and everything? And I'm glad, I'm kind of glad they do. Like, I honestly would like to try, like, thinking to myself, I would like to try it in the Black Ops 3 engine. So, I'm really glad they do have it. Honestly. For a map, at least. At least a map for, um, for this. Yeah, this definitely plays a lot better Black Ops 3 than Advanced Warfare. It's funny as that sound, but then again, like, this is a mod that was made, like, well, this is, this is a, a, a kind of recent mod, so it was definitely made, um, you know, fairly recently. Clean future for the new generation. Alright, we are going to go back this way. We are going to pick up uh, Speed Cola. We're just going to get the, the four first basic perks for the map. Oh, right here. There we go. And then I'm going to see if we can get more than four perks. I, I feel like you can because Advanced Warfare is the game that uh, is a game that lets you have more than four. If you didn't know. Oh, we get to try the AK. Oh my god, it's, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> the AK is awesome. It's amazing. I love it. Let's go ahead and try and get. Oh! Scared the hell out of me. Oh my god. Let's 
go ahead and see if we can grab. <gasps> we can. We can carry more than four. That is awesome. Space land. That's actually kind of funny. It's a little bit of a infinite warfare Easter egg right there. Okay, the exosuit definitely came into play there. They definitely helped me. Um, mess the zombie up there. What's this way, I wonder? All right, so we got the round 10. So at this point, I've explored the entire map, basically. Um, it's definitely, you know, the areas are definitely practically the same as uh, it was. I'm not really, since, we, since we're doing two more maps after this, I'm not really going to do spend too much time trying to find literally everything for the map. So we are going, so I am going to go ahead and do, um, oh, good lord. Okay, we're going to god mode, UFO mode. There we go. Okay, go in here. Let's see what we got. Unknown location. So is this where the so the zombies just spawn in through here? I'm assuming. Uh, it it looked like somewhere that zombies would actually not be able to spawn in through. So it just it is a little it is a little freaky. I like that though. That's actually kind of cool. Okay, let's see what we got around the other map. Let's see what we got around around here. Let's see if we can um. Oh, good lord. I thought there was no collision here or something. Wow. Okay. That's just one simple room right there. So, is it? does this go anywhere? Like... Nope. The one thing I didn't... I have not seen, though, is... Um... You know... Uh, oh, god. What am I trying to... Think? What I'm trying to think of. The one thing I haven't seen is like the upgrade stations, actually. Funnily enough. Like the little upgrade. Oh, good lord, my glasses got stuck to my headphones. <laughs> Don't need to talk about that. Yeah, the little upgrade stations against the walls. That's the one thing I haven't seen so far. I mean, maybe it's. Maybe I'm like missing it from a different location or something, but I don't know. 3D printer. Yeah, that's the one thing I haven't seen so far is like a, a, the little upgrade stations. But other than that, uh, this map is actually fairly interesting. I like, I thank God there's no infection rounds. So if you ever want to try out um, any of these zombies right here, this is definitely a map for you. This is definitely a, a map to try out, like, the exosuit and stuff. I didn't have any bugs or anything. Like, the exosuit only goes up and down, like, so you can't, you know, teleport um, or do the fast jumps, you know. You can't do those or anything. But, I mean, you, there's definitely there, and there's different areas where you can jump onto. So, if you got, like, somebody that you're playing with or something, and you're playing on this map, I mean, right here would be a pretty cool little area to camp at. You get one guy to guard the barrier, one guy to guard the, the other side. Like, you get some pretty cool, you get some pretty cool sights and stuff. So, I mean, fairly, fairly interesting, decent map. Um, since I'm going to do two more, I don't have time to look for, like, every single thing about the map. But, really cool map. I actually do like it. So, um... So this is a recent map. Uh, try it out. Uh, it should it should be labeled under um, Outbreak Reimagined. Uh, it's a it's a recent map. So look it up. It'll be in the description below if you guys are interested in playing it. So on to the next map. All right, this next map is Nuke Three is Nuk Three Town or Nuke Town, <laughs> however you want to say it. I thought it it seemed like a very colorful, interesting map, and it didn't look like the normal Nuke Town, like. There seemed like there there was I mean normal new town looked like he's in it, but it looked like there's some different add-ons and everything for the map, and I thought was pretty cool. Um, we'll see how it is. I I actually don't I actually don't know, but oh wow, is there something special that starts the map here? What? That was strange. My frames are dropping here. Maybe it's just because it's loading in. So that's very strange. We start out also with the Atlas for Advanced Warfare weapons. I didn't even search Advanced Warfare stuff at all. Like, it just... This is... Uh, these are the maps that showed up as uh, in the most recent category. So this is actually kind of funny that it actually has, like, Advanced Warfare stuff with it. But these guys actually look like the uh, enemies from Black Ops 2. 
funnily enough. Insta kill, really? Alright, so we got Black Ops 3 weapons, it looks like. So we got the CUDA there, and this is the Elkar 9. Uh, let's see what else we got. Wow, this this map looks really aw This map looks really cool. I don't know if that's a part of it or if that's just like an unfinished portion of the map. I don't know. It's a little uh, little out of place from what he has here. It could be it though, because it looks like those hexagon shapes are the same as the the metal flooring over here. I don't know though. Okay. Good lord. Okay. As soon as I get through... I may open up the next door as soon as I get past it. Oh, cool. Alright, as soon as I get there, I'm going to go ahead and get this open. 1,000 points. Oh my god, why is it 1,000? Wow. This, this is a very colorful... Seems to be really well made. AK-47 on the wall. Got another debris right here. Wow, this is nice. This this is a very fucking... This is very colorful and beautiful, too. And this map is called Nuketown. <laughs> I wonder if they do have... Um, I saw it in the, uh, the map photo, but I don't know if... I actually don't know where it would be at, but... Oh my gosh, the white... The white dot... I don't think this is the same creator that did the Advanced Warfare one, but it, it could it could be. I actually didn't look and see if the creators were the same, but if they are the same, man, you you are doing some awesome work here with these maps. This looks absolutely... This looks great. This looks absolutely fabulous. Oh, my God. The background? Look at these, look at these buildings. Oh, my God. Like, the fucking detail in them, dude. Looks fabulous. Love it, man. And like, and if it is a different person, great. <laughs> like, this is awesome. We got some definite new, uh, some great people here making these awesome ass maps. And I hope they keep doing it because it's so funny that the custom zombies community nowadays does so much better, like, zombie content than the actual creators for the zombie maps themselves. And that, that that's still, that's still mind blowing to me. It's like, the the zombies community has seems like it has so many more um passionate people than the actual creators of zombies themselves the most messed up thing ever man that always gets me it's like the the zombies community is so mo so passionate about zombies is that we you know we're willing to do all this for free for free by the way like this is this is all free of course you got to get past the possible high price for you know a pc but i don't think for a lot of this especially for black ops 3 you don't really necessarily need a high-end pc but like i have mine set to you know 170 hertz because that's just what my monitors you know put out is 170 hertz but um it's just so we oh vega rush oh my gosh yes but it's just so weird that uh you know it's so great it's weird and great at the same time that you know Maps like this is made. This is this is a this is a beautiful, awesome map. The amount of details that I've like, you know, seen here. I like the maps that tell a story at the same time as you know, looking great. You know, it's like, oh god, I can't, I can't, I can't really explain it, but it just looks great. I like the color. I like the color scheme in the map. Um, good lord, I say color scheme a lot, but it's true. This is a very colorful map. So I am going to, I'm definitely going to be rating the maps after I'm done uh, with the video and stuff like that. I don't know if I'll, I don't know um, exactly how I'll, how I'll do like any kind of rating scheme if I decide to, but I will rate it. I'll also give my thought on it and everything like that and see what other people also think of the map as well. So is this the next area right here or anything? The bulldog right there. Ah, here we go. Oh, good lord. It got so darker. A soul alone can follow the path. Okay. 
Oh my god, this, they have a one-handed SAC-3. That's actually funny. It's It looks so weird. I've never seen this one-handed before, so it's so weird seeing it. I want to... Um, I plan on grabbing that nuke, but I want to make sure I end the round or get as much points from this round as possible before grabbing it. Oh, well, it didn't work. <laughs> oh, well. All right, we're going to clear that debris here in a second. I wonder what kind of weapons are in the mystery box, too. Uh, let's see. No, we're, ju we're just going to clear the, the debris here. God, we're on round six already. What is that? That is crazy. Is that someplace for power? Because this feels like the end of the map here. We'll clear that debris and then we'll see. Alright, we'll save up the points for that and then clear it and then see where we can go from here from that. Is that teleporter not active? Is that what it said? This is a teleporter? Awesome! Crazy! Okay, got a couple points. Oh, you can't shoot through that. <laughs> that would have been cool as fuck if you could shoot through that. That would be awesome. And I guess it makes sense. You can't walk through it. You can't shoot through it either. Definitely makes sense. Okay, that double points definitely helped out with uh, with the point. Well, we weren't really having a point issue or anything, but helped out with getting some points. So we'll go ahead and get the mystery box so we can see what we can get. I don't want to replace the AK, but I might do it. Ah, God, where did you come from? With oh, attack 19. Ah, no. I think I'll stick with the AK over that. I wonder if we can... Oh. Oh, we're at Nuketown now. Wow. That is crazy. Corvus. What is that? What is that? Masochist. What is that? Malicon? What is that? I've never seen that. That's a new perk. Hendrix. <laughs> Black Ops 3 campaign names here. I've never seen that perk before. That's brand that's brand new to me. Twenty seven fifty. Oh, here's Jug right here. But I wonder where the power is. Like is it It's gotta be here at Nuketown, right? It's gotta be. This looks this looks great, man. This looks awesome. I like this. What Alpha Omega should have been. <laughs> What Alpha Omega definitely should have been, it seems like, this way here. Because this is, this is a great looking map. I love it. it. Plays really well. And look how open, like, this area is, like, for training-wise. Oh, my gosh. You would... It, this is a training man's worst, uh, best dream. I want to say worst nightmare. This is a zombie's worst nightmare, because they're about to get trained to death, you know, eventually. But fortunately, since we're doing three maps, and I don't want this video to go on for an extremely long amount of time, um, you know, we won't be we won't be going here very long. But I want I want to know what this perk is. I've never seen that one before. That one's brand new to me. You must turn the power on. They don't really have any um, any notion to where the power is. Like I'm just assuming it's here in Nuketown. So to go that way. We're not trying to go that way just yet, though. HVK here. Wow. There's Sangria over there. Oh, my gosh. Look at all these perks. A double tap. Yo, they, they, got a, they got a good amount of these perks over here, man. This is, this is great. I love this. What good is that? Cell 3 Cauterizer? What the fuck? What is that? Never heard of that before. Ah! Corvus. Okay, so it's just a little Corvus in there. Thirty-two fifty. 
That is an insane amount of points. Oh my god. Oh, turn on the power. That. This is this is insane. I love this, dude. They got jug here, and they got um. Double tap. So like, if I grab jug, double tap, and whatnot, it'll be wonderful. Lower health increases movement speed. What? That's a crazy perk. Oh my god, I've never seen that before. I wonder how good it'll do. Like, is if it's because like it says increase lower health increases movement speed. So, gosh, if you probably team that up with uh, stamina up, oh my god. Like, if you get low health, you can just quickly get out of trouble. But it probably wouldn't do any good for you, though, once if you get trapped in a corner or anything, I feel like. I feel like you wouldn't really... I feel like you wouldn't really benefit from it from that case. But that's, that's, a, that's a pretty interesting perk, honestly. Never seen it before. Brand new. Cause I don't even think it's in the Reaper Collection mod, I don't believe. So that's that's a brand new perk. I wonder if it's been on any more maps though. Now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, I don't think so, but I'm not sure. Gulp. I'm gonna drink that, and then we're gonna come over here to doubly tap. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy the basic decent ones here. Firewall sprinting. Yeah, we're just going to do that. Kills grant bonus. Yeah, that, that, we're definitely going to get that. Like, tat, Sangria is a, is a really good part here. <laughs> oh, lordy. Like, so many of these custom perks that I feel like definitely could have made it into Black Ops 3 Zombies. Like, just the base game. It makes me so upset. <laughs> like, they could have added so many decent, uh, really awesome perks into the map, but they never did. IMR, that's that refills ammo. That's actually insane. What is a nuke? We will try. Well, okay, well I'm stuck behind here because I don't want to get that just yet. Oh, there's two nukes. Oh my god, that's that's pretty lucky. I'm just gonna grab it. Damn, that was a loud ass nuke. Open this up. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, we got a Bowie knife. That's the Mayday 7. Yep. Oh, Magnet Mule. Effect nearby power ups. Or a track. Sorry, I said effect, but I mean, I guess same difference. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try out that new perk, though. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, the bow. I like the bow. I'll buy it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know why I like the bow. This is like, this is just my favorite weapon from Advanced Warfare. It just, it's a great weapon. Same for the, uh, the ASM-1, I believe is what it's called. That was also a really good gun, too. I really like that one also. Don't know why. Again, I just, I really did like it. Muscle Milk Chain Electric Melee Stabs. Okay. I mean, oh, look at, God, here it is right up here. I think I'd rather have that than the SAC-3, even though this actually is doing pretty good for me. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> this was, like, if I remember correctly, oh, my God, look at this Star Wars stuff. This was, like, the tryhards weapon of choice, I believe, in Advanced Warfare, which is crazy to think about. Hendrix, okay. I was, I was, just, I was just curious. I definitely want to try to get all of the perks in the map, honestly. But we got 11 right now. We're on round 11. And I'm pretty sure we got through the entire map here. Like, having Nuketown at the at the very end, and it actually seems to be a very decent-looking Nuketown, this is crazy. I really enjoy this map. This, is actually, this map is actually really, really awesome. So, let's see here. How much was this again? How, what does this do, by the way? Actually, not sure. All right, so that's 2,500... It looks like something from Agent Evil for some reason. So that is where we were. So it teleported us from there to here, which is absolutely insane. All right, we're gonna grab this perk. So we're gonna see what it. We're gonna see exactly what kind of movement speed you do, because it has it has the ICU logo. That 
That is so strange. Is it ICU is a but different name? I don't think so cuz ICU has the uh faster um the faster rate. Oh my god. That is insanely fast. Holy shit. All right, I okay, all right, out of pure curiosity, I've got to pair it with stamina up. So, I'm going to I'm going to continue playing it until I get to the point where I get stamina up. Because I want to pair it with stamina up. And I want to see if it changes anything. Because that is utterly insane speed. Oh my god. I like completely ran away. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So I will see you guys in a second. As soon as I grab stamina up. Then I will definitely be showing it off yet again. Alright so right there. So I will be hanging out over here. And I'll probably get Vigor Rush too. Just to, just to add on a little extra oomph. And then I will showcase, like, if I run extra faster with uh, stamina being involved with it. So, I'll uh, see you guys in just a sec. All right. So, I'm buying stamina up, and I'm going to let a zombie uh, fight me here just a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to let a I'm going to let one zombie here, like, beat me up until I'm red. So, I can see how fast that I start running away. Come on, beat me up. Oh, no! <laughs> he got me down. Damn it. I was trying to... He was hitting me fast, too. I was trying to get away, like, quick as possible. But I feel like it would affect it, though. I feel like it would. I don't see why it wouldn't affect it. So, I mean, I, since I since I went down already, I'm not going to try it again. But if you guys are interested in that, like, if you want to try it out, I would definitely say, you know, try it out. Honestly, I think this is the map that I'm going to revisit like in my in my spare time, I really like this map. I think this map is absolutely amazing. This is a really cool looking map. It is the size is fairly decent, and it's not too complicated. It doesn't seem like, and it's god, it's fucking gorgeous. Like this map is absolutely amazingly gorgeous. So, and out of curiosity, so I want to see if I can see it from see it from here. I just want to see if we can like see it from here. Like, if we can see Nuketown from this angle. Okay, no. So, that's a whole different city over there? So, where is Nuketown located at then in the map? Because I'm assuming out here it doesn't have collision. It does. Oh, my God. This all the way out here has collision? That's crazy. And so does this. What? That's absolutely insane. So I wonder where he has Nuketown at then. That's that's actually a good question. Because he has different backdrop cities here. Oh, that's it right there. That's Nuketown right there. Look at that. Wow. That is utterly awesome. So, all right, let's see if we can teleport there. Hopefully there's like no death barrier or something. Yeah, we're going to see if we can just fly there to Nuketown. That is a long way away. And I'm assuming this right here is your, um, like, the teleporter option thing here. Oh, my God. Look at the field of view when I come to water. <laughs> the ASM-1, the back of the gun just flows all the way out here. And so is the BAL. It just changes my FOV. Jesus Christ. Look at that. <laughs> it just goes, it just sucks it in. Wow. That is that is utterly insane. So when you so when you spawn in over here, you can't see it from this angle, but I feel like those are just like copies of the same city. Oh good lord. Those are just copies of the same city. But this definitely looks like the teleporter piece here. Yeah, look. Oh my gosh, that's actually crazy. This is actually crazy. Yeah, I think I'm going to be revisiting this map. This is off. This is honestly a really cool looking map. I really do like this map. So how many perks does he have on the map exactly? So we got not targeted by air support. Which one's that one? Oh, that one is the... Um, okay, loud enemies is the magnet. Okay, that one is... Um, whatchamacallit? Jet quiet... 
Okay, that's Fighter's Fizz. I didn't see that anywhere. Unlimited Sprint. Fast Mantle. We got Mule Kick. Double Tap 2. Dead Shot. Uh, pretty sure this is Joe, right? Yeah. Quick Revive. Fast Reload. Stamina up. PhD. So 12. Okay, there's a dead shot right there. So there's 12 perks. Wow. Oh my good lord. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, what? what is Zombies without a little fun, you know? Anyways, I think I'm going to actually play that map again. Like, in my, my own personal spare time. Because that was actually really, really fun. So... Well, off to the last and final map, which is the one I'm actually looking forward to, Jake's House 2.0 from Ice Grenade. Uh, definitely another map that I saw in there. I was like, oh, wow, this is going to be very interesting to try. Um, if you're interested in trying this map as well, I kind of highly suggest it. I think it's a very, really fun map, very good-looking map. It plays really, really well. Um, shoot, I think that's going to be a five-star map for me. I really enjoyed it. I thought that was a very, very fun, uh, simple, yet... Uh, you know, a ca it's a definite casual map, and it, it was very, very fun, and I really, really liked the introduction of Nuketown in the end. So that was really awesome. So link's in the description below if you want to try out the map. Now, on to Jake's House 2.0. All right, Jake's House 2.0, made by Ice Grenade. So, oh my god, insane difficulty. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing easy difficulty. I'm not, I'm not about to freak out my ass here so ice grenade is known for doing these what i got four perks at the start is that easy difficulty okay i, I kind of didn't i kind of didn't want to do that <laughs> if that's easy difficulty i definitely didn't want to do that um so just again jake's house 2.0 fairly interesting here starting how we're starting out this is actually kind of crazy why is the specter 1100 points <laughs> i don't know if the specter is worth that much Easy difficulty gives me a Caparis, a uh, shield, and uh, four perks. I don't know if they're random or not, but gold coins. I, for some reason, I thought that was puke. Okay, let's open up this here. So, yeah, Ice Grenade definitely is uh, a very, very amazing uh, map maker. This is actually crazy. Um, oh, cool, it's slow time. I've played, I've definitely played a lot of his maps. I played, uh, I think the most recent one I played was, um, oh my gosh. Ooh, wow. Look at all the Call of Duty games. Two, three, four, two, three, World at War, <laughs> Advanced Warfare, <laughs> it goes Black Ops, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3. Then that's where it should stay. All right, we're going to buy the MP40. This is this is a very awesome looking map. I really like this. <laughs> Ice Grenade is evil. I like that. Oh, only have a thousand. I was over here like, why? Why can't I open the door? Oh, good lord. Yeah, this is a definite tight space uh, map here. Ice Grenade definitely, again, is one of the ones that um, has made some amazing maps, but yet they're, they're difficult as hell. Like, I really did like his... Uh, oh, God, here it is again. I really did like his... Um, the Madagascar map that he made, that was also a really good map. I'm sorry about the flashing there. Oh my god. I'm stuck in this corner. There we go. What the fuck? He's <laughs> that zombie was freaking out there. That was funny. Oh my god, he was like, ah Let's open this up. Alright, so that's another debris. Wow, this is a nice backdrop. This actually this looks really nice. Oh my god, the FAMAS. The B01 FAMAS too. Oh, he just knew. Oh god, <laughs> that zombie had a freak out moment. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's like, ah! 
All right, so we still got the whole house to explore here. This is crazy. Crazy. Get, get, get out of my way. Oh, good lord. Oh my god, I got infinite ammo. Thank god for that, Jesus. There we go. Ooh, this is a garage? So, this is all the perks in the map, it looks like. Purchase a shield. Repair for free. Oh, okay. Cool. I like the, the repair option there. That's actually kind of nice. All right, we're going to get double tap. And we will just get... We will just get that just to have uh, another perk added on here. <laughs> Shoot the bottom here. Shoot the infinite void. I like the shield being there. That's actually kind of cool. Right next to the Wonder Fizz. Try to see the uh, the names of the, the donators over there. Just because I'm curious. I just want to see. This map would not exist. Awesome, that this, this is awesome. Like if your if your name is on there, like thank you. This is this is a fairly, this is a fairly awesome map here. Honestly, I think I really like the outlook of this map. Very nice lighting. Um, the challenge, of course, is there. Like this is this is typical. <laughs> this is the typical challenge that uh provides here. Which I mean, it probably would have been worse if I put it on harder difficulty, but. I'm just I'm just looking to explore the map, man. You know, I'm just not, I'm not really looking for any kind of challenge here whatsoever. Now, I probably could do a challenge like option on here, like turn it on and stuff, and turn that into a video. I could do that. That is a possibility. But for right now, I think I'm gonna just have fun enjoying myself. Ooh, a weapon part. Damn that! God, I just flew on my face. Like I just didn't matter. Oh my god, this is a this is a Big map here. Oh my lord. Take speed cola. That's the one perk I don't I don't I, I do not I do not have a speed cola. So I think I'm definitely gonna be getting that here in a second. And the MP5K. Okay. <laughs> I like that. That is awesome. Oh my god. Okay. Gosh, these tightly spaced maps, man. Woo! Flashing lights, just just a warning here. Oh wow, the plans here. Shoot. Oh, okay. All right, let's open up more of the maps. See what we can get here. Another thing here. We're just going to go ahead and buy Ooh, the Galil. Oh, wow.
This is a massive house. <laughs> this is a massive, massive house. Oh god, yes, to be a one galil. Love it. Mm, love it to death. So this looks like Borderlands. I wonder if he's uh, teasing like a Borderlands map. Oh, one out of 50 gold found. All right, I, I had to shoot it, huh? Okay, well, that makes sense. Let's open this up. PM63, ugh. I'll get the mystery box in here, though. <laughs> Gives me the Kaparis after I've already gotten rid of it. Ooh, the ray gun? We'll just go we'll to grab it. It says Rang's ray gun. I wonder what that is. Or, or if it does anything particularly different. Maybe. Well, I meant to open up this door, not that one. There's an AK right there. Ooh, a stoner. Definitely got a lot of guns in the house. Oh, then it leads to the outside over here. So this leads over there, which I've already been through. Oh my good lord. So like, every time I shoot the gold, does it give me... Okay, it gives me 100 points. Okay. That's cool. This, this is definitely cool. Really liking this map so far. I'm 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 really liking it. Have an note of this room. Take double tap. I right, got that. Okay. Infield. Open front door. Perk machine. So the only one we're missing is Widow's Wine. So we grab Widow's Wine and we're good. Oh, uh, they got the commando out here. Okay, so this is another debris area. I wonder if this is a decent area to, like, actually sit at, or unless the zombies come from this, this spot right here. Maybe. Could be a possibility. Widow's wine. So nine per oh, I shot gold by accident. So we got nine perks here. Is that, right? is that is that what I'm getting? Oh, this is a new room. Oh my god. Need more weapon parts. Well, I have more weapon parts I need then. So okay, so I already got electric cherry. Wow, this looks cool as fuck. Oh, my leg was cramping. Oh! on in here <laughs> oh hmm don't know what the dragon all does but hey it's the bo1 
AK, which is my favorite variation of the AK-47. So I wonder where the ladder takes us. There has to be something down here, though, at least. All right. Oh, there's a Wonder Walk piece. Here I said round 10 and I'm still like playing this map. <laughs> it's only been 14 minutes. But yeah, the zombie spawn rate is definitely absolutely massive. Don't know what that did. Had to have done something though. <laughs> I like touching the. Uh, I like touching that, and it makes me come. Wow, that's awesome! The ladder leads up here. Yeah, it leading up here is pretty cool. I like that. So far, I, I I think this this is a really awesome this is a really awesome map. I think this map is really 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 awesome. It's fairly it's fairly small. Like it's definitely like if you're not into uh, you know maps that are extremely tight like this one, you know it's definitely not for you. But I don't mind maps like this very much. Like it's it's not too bad. Just to, as long as it's um, as long as the quality is decent for the map, then, you know, it's definitely nothing wrong with it. And there's definitely nothing wrong with it. The quality is here. Like, I, I don't think I've I've played a bad ice grenade map, honestly. So, it's definitely really, really cool. I really like it. But I wonder where... Um, some of these other, like, parts are and stuff like that are. I wonder... Well, if this is a map that interests you, I definitely would say go for it. Like, it, it's definitely a, a fairly decent map to play. Like, if you, especially if you want a challenge or anything, you can choose the difficulty in the beginning, which is fairly awesome of them to do that. Because <laughs> I definitely did not feel like playing some, like, insanely difficult map today anyways, or for the video. Um, that could that could come at a later date, though. I could I could do uh, make this as a challenge map video, which would be absolutely awesome to do. But, um, and I could do another one where I try, like, try to find all the gold and all that stuff, but I'm just going to shoot, shoot them as I see them, but we will see. Okay, dragon on. It's a switch. Oh, I see. There's the monkey. I was wondering. So, why is there Xbox controllers to a PlayStation Five? That's the. That's my question. It's pretty funny. Coins right there. More coins right here. Mate, calm down. <laughs> you just you're just consistently banging the shit out of my back. Bible ending unlocked. Oh snap! Without ammo, I cannot achieve a victory. Okay, well, you can buy, you can get the one off. It's only two parts. That that's cool. I thought it'd be more than that, actually. But I don't really know where the best area would be for the one off in here because of how tightly spaced out the map is. But I mean, I thought that was gold. <laughs> I thought that was gold. I want to say maybe out here or the front, like the, maybe. Oh god. Out here or the front yard probably will be like uh, the best two areas for the Wonder Waff, honestly. I feel like. I feel like. But I wonder where the Bible ending is. Oh, heck yeah. This is great. So 
So we got the round 20. I said at least round 10 on all of them. but uh, So we are going a little over an hour. So I am kind of out of time here. Uh, we did get an empty jerry can, though. And I think I did pick up the siphon already. So let's go and see what, what we can do. I don't want to open up that side because I want to keep that side closed so that I can possibly get a... Uh... Oh, that's a flashlight. I thought that was something special there. Oh, I shocked the cold. Okay. Alright, so hold on. Let me go back up here. I'm going to take this away. And see what that room had. So... Shoot 50 coins for the for the perks, I'm guessing. Fuel and siphon for that. Demolition. There are secrets in the... God damn that. Get off my face. Damn it. So there are secrets in the basements. Okay, so let's go to the basement. Oh, wrong. Let's clear, whatever. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Oh, wait, right here, right here. Aha! Oh, heck yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. And this is a nice little hallway here you can stand in. So this is this is awesome. And I like the, the music playing and stuff. That's actually cool. As f oh, no, I downed myself. <laughs> we definitely need uh, a PhD would be like very, you know, pretty decent for the map, I think, too. But no, don't let me, don't, don't, don't let it go away, please. Okay, good. It didn't go away. Awesome. Perfect. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is this is great. I like this map so much. <laughs> I like this map. I think this map is a definite five out of five a definite five out of five for me oh my gosh damn all right i'm going to end the game that was a definite awesome map definitely awesome really really liked it oh my god my voice is staticky you hear that luckily i'm at the end of the video so i'm just going to let it continue on it gets real staticky at the end here but i apologize but anyways, that was awesome. I really, really liked that map. That was 5 out of 5 for me. I think it was really, really cool. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. And I will see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.